Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the contract proposal of Lionel Messi coming from Juan Laporta and then we're going to be moving on towards Barcelona incorporating Emerson. They want to bring Emerson back. They want to take away Emerson from Real Betis and incorporate this player onto the next season. And then lastly, we are going to be talking about Ansu Fati's injury and what are the latest updates. So if you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. I'm happy that you guys are here. This is basically what we do. We talk about everything regarding FC Barcelona. But now let's get back into the video and we are first going to be talking about Juan Laporta's contract proposal to Lionel Messi. And so we do have some confirmation and it says here according to Xavi Torres, Messi has received Barcelona's renewal offer, a two-year deal at the Camp Nou. Right after that he will receive a three-year stay at the United States and then return to the club's sports area. He hasn't communicated his final decision to the club yet. And so this is the proposal that Juan Laporta has given. And now we are in that phase where Messi is is going to be analyzing if these are the right steps. But as we do continue here, it says this, and I quote, this is not a formally written proposal, but Messi already knows about the details of what the offer will be. He is yet to communicate his decision to the club. There will be more details to the sporting project. And notice what it did say in that last sentence, right? What does that mean by Messi waiting on the last few details of the sporting project? This is actually exactly what we did talk about a few days ago. And that is this, Messi is waiting to see who is going to be within the squad list and who is going to be the next coach of FC Barcelona whether it's Ronald Koeman or any other prospects that Barcelona are currently analyzing. That is what Messi wants to find out. And notice how this is correlating towards the 15 day report where it was stating that Juan Laporta has a total of 15 days to find out who is going to be the next coach of FC Barcelona. The reason why the time frame is so small even though that they know they have a total of two or three months within this summer transfer window to make a decision it is because they need to find answers in order to finalize the proposal to Lionel Messi. This is exactly why we have seen Juan Laporta heavily within meetings. So I do want to make this very clear in order for you guys to understand just where exactly we are positioned. Laporta has given Lionel Messi a long-term plan to understand how long he's going to be playing in Barcelona, how long he's going to be playing at the MLS, and what position he could be taking within the sports area. He has given that. He has also given Messi an idea on what the wages could look like within these next five to six years. But the only thing that is missing, which is probably the most important factor towards Messi, it is going to be the sporting plan. The final details are missing. And many are going to be questioning, right? What were the sensations throughout these meetings? How did Lionel Messi feel? And how did the father of Messi feel about this proposal? And we do have an idea on how this meeting did go out. And it says here, according to Moises Llorens, there was another meeting between Joan Laporta and Jorge Messi yesterday. The outcome was positive and all the parties left the meeting with a good feeling. So there are many reasons on why this saga is going to be ending on a good note that we are going to be seeing Messi renew with FC Barcelona. And here's the one thing that I do want to clear out. I understand that Sergio Guero was brought in to Barcelona in order to better the environment with Lionel Messi. That is one of the biggest reasons. And many have been saying Messi is going to be staying. There is no reason to speculate anymore because Sergio Guero came into this club for a reason. While yes, that could be an indicator that Messi will be staying with Barcelona, what we should see still expect coming from Joan Laporta is professionalism. Joan Laporta at the end of the day, regardless if Aguero comes here yes or no, he has to give a good plan towards Lionel Messi and he knows exactly that. We cannot just say that okay because we have Aguero at Barcelona, Messi is going to be staying. Joan Laporta still needs to do what he needs to do and Laporta is not doing these moves just for the sake of trying to keep Lionel Messi for the next two or three years. Joan Laporta is doing these moves to make Barcelona competitive again with Messi. And the other question is going to be this, why would Barcelona and Joan Laporta offer Lionel Messi only two years. He is only going to be 36 years old. But here's the thing. Two years is going to be the baseline on how long Messi is going to be staying with this club. If Messi continues to perform after those two years and he feels well and he feels like his body is not slowing down and we see that through the television or through live matches, then Messi will continue. And there has been other reports stating that Barcelona would be more than willing to give Messi one optional year extension, which will take him until the age of 30 seven years old. But that is going to be the final conclusion. Once Barcelona find the solution on who is going to be that next coach, the response coming from Lionel Messi is going to be much closer. And one of the options that we have been talking about in terms of who could replace Ronald Koeman if they do decide to sack him, it is Pep Guardiola. But Fabrizio Romano has stated that Pep Guardiola has no intention to leave Man City. Even if he'll win the Champions League on Saturday, Pep is staying at Man City. He's already planning for new signings together with the Man City. 
Andy Bourne. Now, what is going to be Juan Laporta's next move? This is something that we're going to have to find out in the next few days because the coaches that Laporta is seeing as options, they, they do continue to minimize. And so whatever does happen within these next few days, we are going to be talking about it here in this YouTube channel. Then going on to the next topic of today, and we are going to be talking about Emerson Royal. So we do have the latest details regarding Emerson. But the first thing that I do want to point out is this. One of the positions that Barcelona want to reinforce, it is the right back position. Yes, there is Sergio Dest within that position, who we know is going to be a great player for this club. But Barcelona have made it very clear. And that is that they want to bring competition within the right back area. And after what we have been hearing in the past few weeks on Barcelona concluding that they do want to sell Sergio Roberto in the summer, one of the players that they do want to bring in to replace Sergio Roberto as the backup to Sergio Dest, it is Emerson. And it says here, according to Catalonia Radio, Barcelona wants to own full rights of Emerson. As the contract does state, they will have to pay 9 million euros to Real Betis for this move, but want him for cheaper, which basically means that they are possibly going to be sending Miranda to Betis permanently. And Emerson will be part of the preseason with FC Barcelona. And this is great news. To hear a Brazilian player who is very talented is coming to FC Barcelona, this is something that many are going to be looking forward to. And this is also the exact same player that will be in the Brazilian national team this summer. And it says here, and it is official, that Dani Alves has been cut from the Brazilian national team due to injury. Emerson Royal of Real Betis will take his place. And looking at these call-ups that he has received, everything is going well for this player on an individual level. This is a huge moment. And hopefully throughout these next 18 months, Emerson is able to capitalize off of the chances that he is given. And we have discussed his performances. We know that Emerson does very well as a right to back. He has had two great seasons with this team. And if he's able to bring that level to FC Barcelona, it would be a great thing to have. But let's take a moment to actually realize what's actually going on here. Because if you really think about this transfer move, this is a bold move coming from FC Barcelona because there were offers where clubs were willing to pay FC Barcelona 22 to 23 million euros for this player. And looking at Barcelona's situation, knowing that they do need to get financially stable again, they could have easily accepted that offer. But Barcelona did not do that. And that basically means one thing. Barcelona do have a strategic plan with this player and it does exist. And it is going to be amazing to see Serginho Dest and Emerson compete for their right back position. Two players who do want to prove their worth with this club. And then lastly, I do want to give some slight updates on Ansu Fati and his fitness update. And it says here, according to Fernando Polo, Ansu Fati is already in Barcelona continuing his recovery process. As of now, positive sensations are surrounding the new treatment and he is recovering very well. His goal is to be ready for the preseason. So a few weeks ago, Ansu Fati was in Portugal. He was trying to continue his recovery within that country, but now he is back in FC Barcelona and the progression, according to many reports, it has been going very well. And so we should expect Ansu Fati to come back in the preseason, be heavily involved within the new assembled squad. And there is going to be many questions surrounding Ansu Fati. And that is this, is he going to be coming back the same? Because we have seen many players who were young experience a very serious injury only to find out that once they came back, they were not the same. They were not able to perform at that level that they used to. And so when it comes to Ansu Fati, could we be seeing the exact same thing? I do not think so. I think that Ansu Fati will come back stronger than ever. There is a reason why he has not played since November. And that is because Ansu Fati and the doctors, they have been taking the right steps and they are certainly not rushing this recovery. But that is going to be it for today's Barcelona Daily News. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.